Hello, everybody. I'm going to be doing the reflection photo in text. I have my side-by-side -side layer or side-by-side -side panels. Here are the instructions. And here is the photo that I've opened in Pixlr E. Now, I'm, now that I have the photo opened over here and unlocked, I'm going to add a, add a text layer. So I click on the plus sign under layers and choose text. I'm going to write the word jump. And I'm going to choose a font from up here. There we go. I like that font. And I'm going to choose a size. I'm going to start with 750. And I'm going to stretch out the sides and see if it will fit. All right, looks good. Uh, I think I'm going to put it right about here somewhere, right about the shoes are at for right now. Okay, so I've got my text layer now. I have my background layer and I have my text and the size and the shape that I like. So now I'm going to select the background layer and duplicate it. So I click on background and then here at the bottom, I click the duplicate button. Next, I'm going to select the text layer up here and then I'm going to choose to blend it with the layer below. So I um, click on the text layer, choose the three buttons and then we're going to drop down menu blend mode, scroll down and choose mask. There we go. Now I'm going to choose the background copy and I'm going to move this around a little bit until I like where the word jump shows. Uh, let's see, I like the Nike right there in the M. So. That looks good to me. So now that I've chosen where I wanted to arrange it um, and it has a nice composition, I'm gonna select the text layer and then I'm gonna change uh, it to merge down with the background copy. So all the way down at the bottom right here is this little button called merge down. There we go. Now it's all in one layer. I need to add a blank layer. So to do that, I click the plus sign again here and it's gonna be empty. When you, create, when you create the empty uh, layer, it's going to be on top. We need to drag it under the word, the text. So right now we've got this merged layer. We have a blank layer and then the background still. The, um, we're going to use the fill bucket to fill in this background layer. So over here, I'm going to choose a color and the bucket. So here's my bucket. For my color, I think I'll choose, sure, let's go with yellow. Sounds good. All right, okay. And then I'm going to click somewhere in the box. There we go. So now my background is going to be yellow. I'm going to click the select tool and move my J over a little bit. Let's see. Oh, is it no longer letting me? Oh, because it's the same size. There we go. Maybe do that a little bit. Move it over. Maybe not. We'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, there we go. Um, now that I have this, I'm going to crop it real quick. So I'm going to click the crop tool. I'm going to drag this up. So it's right there. Drag this down a little bit. And I'm going to press enter. All right, looks good. Now I'm going to put a drop a down shadow on this. So click on your text layer. Choose filter. Drop shadow. Uh, opacity. I'm going to bring it to uh, maybe like right about there. A little bit of a blur, not too much. Offset slightly so we can kind of see it a little bit more. And then offset maybe down a little bit too. Okay, apply that. There we go. I like it. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see it. There we go. That is my reflection photo in text. To save it, I click File, Save as a JPEG. Hi, sounds great. Save as. Now I'm on a computer. Um, so my drive won't pop up, but when you click save as here at the bottom, you, on, on this left side, you're going to see your Google Drive and you can save it into the correct folder or into your photography folder right here in your drive at the same time. All right. And that concludes reflection photo in text.